Hi, I'm Brandon from B2I Healthcare, and today I'm going to talk to you about some new search features that we've added in Snow Owl version 1.8. Our goal was to reduce the number of keystrokes required to identify a desired concept. We're now searching all terminologies concurrently in a single query. We make use of global history to increase the rankings of commonly used concepts. For example, just by typing the number 2, I'll already see the relevant diabetes concepts. Intelligent autocompletion uses bookmarks with local and global history to suggest the term that you're looking for. Pressing the tab key accepts the suggestion and automatically computes the next likely word even before you begin typing. Here we see a concept that was set to inactive because it's a duplicate. Let's see how the search widget works in a reference set editor. We'll filter the ref set members and then open the intratracheal suspension. The search widget works with the underlying concept model, which means that only concepts that are valid for this concept has formulated route relationship are available choices here. As I start typing, you can see that the previous choices and bookmarks are constrained as well to the concept model, so that only valid options are displayed here. We found that maintaining a local history and using it to display previous choices has been very useful. Usually this allows you to just simply hit return in different fields to accept the result that you've added before. We've always allowed bookmarking concepts. Now we also display them prominently during the search. Here if I search for para, you can see the matching bookmarks as well as previous choices that I've made. Underneath each category, you can see the number of exact matching results. Exact matches are displayed in black, and approximate matches are displayed in gray. Pressing Control 4 displays additional results. If we can't find any exact matches for your search string, we'll automatically do the best we can to come up with an approximation. We try to identify likely misspellings, variant word forms, different parts of speech, and so on. I think one of the more interesting features that we've added to this release is the search profile, which allows you to both influence the rankings of concepts in the search results, but also to completely exclude them if appropriate. SNOMED CT includes lots of veterinary codes, and a common use case is excluding them from search results. Here you can see that we've excluded the members of the non-human reference set. However, we can easily add them back. A search profile is used to influence the rankings of search results by creating groups of concepts and then applying an interest level to them. If the interest level is set to exclude the concepts, as in the non-human ref set, then they won't appear at all. Other choices influence the rankings but don't directly set them, as other data like match quality, usage frequency, history, bookmarks, and so on are also considered. I can create additional rules that are based on the concept hierarchy, reference set membership, map membership, namespace, or module. Each of these can be used to increase or decrease the overall relevance or exclude the concepts from a search. We've added several cool architectural features including a pluggable search provider architecture to flexibly support new terminologies and new types of semantic searches, an extensible interface that allows third parties to contribute their own search techniques, a parallel search architecture that takes full advantage of modern multi-core systems, search provider chaining to allow sequential query expansion for a particular search provider, optimistic and pessimistic search provider execution to parallelize query expansion on multi-core systems, search scheduling and prioritization to deliver acceptable performance on older hardware, and more. Now we can see our bovine search is run again with 267 results instead of 158. Also notice that the cow-related concepts are now closer to the top of the results since we indicated that the non-human ref set has above average interest to us. Thanks for watching. Please drop us a note if you have any comments or questions.